Hey there, welcome to the Proud Animator YouTube channel. So, in this lesson, we are going to learn how to rig a face of a character using Twig Bezier plugin. So, let's start. So, right now we are inside of After Effects, and in this lesson, we are going to rig the face of the character using Twig Bezier. So, we have already illustrated the drama in flat style we are using that character in this lesson if you want to check the full illustration then you can get the link in the description you can check it out in the next lesson we are going to animate this drama so stay tuned for that lesson as well so let's begin with the rigging process so in this lesson we are going to use connector in twig bezier to rig the face of the character so before jumping on with the rigging process we need to fix few things over here in the composition this is the reflection of the of the of the glass and i have just used blending mode over here same with this one so i'm going to copy this glass layers again and let's rename it matte so we are going to use it as track matte for the reflection layer all right right now we are going to select this mats and i'm going to parent this with the right class this one with the left one and this one with its separate mats so we are going to use or we are going to select the classes and parent it with frame so we need to just parent this joint layer with any of the base layers doesn't matter and this ones we need to parent it with its base layers as well same with the other parts of the face So we are going to use the beard's lower portion as a mat for the upper portion or the or the beard with the light shade. Same with the face as well. All right. So right now we are going to add a null layer. Rename it face expressions or face facial com components. So what we are going to do is we are going to parent every component on the face, including sunglasses, mouth, nose, beard, with this co particular facial components. Okay. So first of all, let's change its anchor position and put it exactly at the middle like this all right so right now we are ready to begin our rigging process so so right now we are going to select the face and open the position property and simply separate the dimensions first of all okay so right now we are going to add keyframes first of all i will add keyframes on the first frame then i will jump on to one or two frames so it doesn't matter if you jump onto one or two frames uh, but it's recommended to use more than one frames uh, to keep more than one frame gap in between so that you can if you want then you can add more in between frames later on if needed so i am just keeping it three frames apart and right now i'm going to select the x axis and again do the same again three frames apart and do the same so I will jump on to the first one and I will simply move this white somewhere around here. And same with the last frame. I'm going to select the layer and simply move it in the opposite side. 
all right right now we are going to do the same for the y axis as well all right so right now we are going to select all the lay all the keyframes from x axis and first of all we need to get a con connector there are various types of connector as you can see this one is a 1d connector this is simply a slider controller this is a 2d area controller as the name suggests this is to control two dimension at the same time for this one it's y axis and x axis this is for angle rotation so for uh, this one i need the second one the second other uh, 2d controller so we have just added a 2d controller and after that i will simply select the slider okay so first of all let's move this from the face of the character and just put it somewhere in the side so i will select this slider and simply select the x axis and add x axis over here because for with this we are we want to control the x axis properties with this slider so add value over here and connect to properties so if you check it then it's actually moving if we move the controller it's moving in x axis but nothing is happening in y axis because we haven't added the y axis or connected the y axis with the slider so let's do the same and check it out so for this one let's select all the keyframes in y axis and then select y axis keep it value always and if this thing doesn't come first of all select this then click on property it will come i mean sometimes uh, this uh, values doesn't come or so that's why you need to select the property first and right now for y axis select the y axis value and connect with properties let's check it out yeah perfect all right so this is how you can this is the basic demonstration of how the slider controller or this connector in with pcl works and this is how what you need to do for rigging a character face of a character and this and all can also be done with the other parts of the body as well so for this one we are going to keep it simple and just only use it to rig the face okay right now we can do more exciting things such as we can even move the reflection of this reflection on the glasses as well so let's do that we are going to add position property first of all separate the dimensions and do the same process now right now we are going to first of all animate the x axis so we are going to select both of it and move white in the x axis go to the last frame and just move it to the opposite side same with the y axis We don't even need to add another slider controller. We can do it with this one only. So first of all select the x axis and parent it with x axis connect properties. Same with y axis. All right. Now let's check it out. Yeah. Isn't it cool? I mean if we are moving it the reflections are also moving around okay so right now let's add or connect the ears with the connector as well so for that i'm going to open the position property first of all separate the dimensions and do the same with this one as well so right now we are going to move it to extremes when this here head is turning this side this ear will be somewhere around here or it will not be actually seen or very little seen and also with this one as well now again when it's it will be somewhere around here and this ear will also be around here so for the y axis when it's looking upwards the ears will be downwards a bit and let's move the mid up slightly 
and when it's looking downwards then it will the ears will be a bit upwards okay now let's connect the properties so let's check it out perfect all right so right now let's add few detailing to this uh controllers so we are going to add keyframes in the frames as well such as when it's uh, this will also move in uh, uh i mean it's in perspective so when it, when the head is turning this will also move somewhere around here and also with move in the opposite direction around here as well so so i think we need to uh just create a vector from this layer we don't need the illustrator file because we might use this i mean uh, we might also add keyframes to the path property as well first of all let's uh we need to add some track mat so we're going to copy these layers first and we are going to put it above its individual glasses rename it matte and we are going to add this as track mats and also we are going to parent this one with the base layers All right. So right now we are going to add keyframes to these frame layers and also in the glass layers as well. So first of all, let's separate the dimensions and let's close these keyframe properties. And we are going to do the same process for this one as well. So right now let's link up this with connectors. All right, let's do the same for the nose as well. Add track mat over here as well. Okay, let's check out with the slider. All right. So, first of all, we need to parent this one with the town. Let's check it now. Yeah, it's perfect now. Let's do the same for the beard as well. So, let's separate the dimensions and do the same process. So let's check the slider. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so right now we are going to also add a controller for the mouth as well so that we can change the shape of the mouth. So for that, I think we uh, can do the same with the uh, with only 1D controller. So let's add another slider controller. So first of all, select it and I will put it somewhere around here. And press the mouth layer okay so here it is i'm going to open the path property open i'm going to add some paths to it and we are going to add slider to this one so this is the neutral pose for the mouth and this will be one extreme let's change the path this one a bit and at this particular point let's close up the mouth or just wide open it we can do that as well yeah we need to adjust the layers in the background as well so we are going to do that later on so right now we are going to select all these path properties and select this slider controller at the property and and just connect it with the slider so let's test the thing it's perfect 
now we are going to connect the other things with this slider as well so for example uh this mouth exposure we need to add keyframes on the path of this one as well similar to the previous one so we are going to change the slider and need to adjust the adjust the paths according to the mouth okay i'm going to select the path and simply connect with the property let's check it out okay sorry first of all let's undo it we need to do the same for the other extreme as well okay right now let's connect it with the property yeah perfect so right now the only thing left is we need to add position for this one so we only need the y-axis so let's separate the dimensions and only add the y-axis all right so right now we are going to connect it with the slider so let's test the animation perfect so like this you can rig your rig the face of your character so yeah this everything is looking perfect and for this particular lesson i have simply uh, uh slightly simplified the illustration a bit so that we can specifically focus on the rigging process rather than just uh, adding more detailing to it so after this you can even add more detailing and the do the same thing uh, following the same process so we can do something like this as well in the next lesson we are going to animate this drummer so stay tuned for that lesson as well all right so try it on your own and let me know how it turned out so that is it for this lesson hope you like the video if you like the video then make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubt regarding the lesson make sure to comment down below i will be happy to help you out and if you're here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates until then goodbye